Hello, uh, this is uh, the first lecture in uh, molecular genetics within your uh, medical uh, biology. <coughs> uh, in fact, uh, it is just introduction and uh, we are not going to be asked uh, on the content of this uh, lecture. I mean, I am, it's not to be included in your examination. It is just uh, background information. And uh, let me explain that uh, we are not uh, preparing you to be a molecular geneticist. Then why we are bothering you on studying this subject? In fact, uh, in your future work as a doctor, you will face some of your patients uh, their disease is related very much to the uh, genetics in general. In fact, some scientists believe uh, that every disease has relation in one way or another to the genetics. Well, this is maybe a bit uh, exaggeration, uh, but it is in a way uh, got a point. Uh, you find some of the people are susceptible to the disease more than the other. And this susceptibility uh, may be inherited from their uh, I mean, uh, predecessors from the previous uh, generations. <coughs> and usually you will ask your patient, have any of your family have this disease? Uh, when you go to hypertension or you have diabetes or some of these sorts of diseases and others, usually you ask uh, any any of your family. And when you're asking about your family so that disease is, is run familial. However, this is just susceptibility, but some diseases are very much related to the genetics. And uh, let us uh, um, assume that uh, one day you are in the New York clinic in the hospital and a patient uh, come to you when you look to the face uh, the face is not uh, very normal the feature in examination you will find uh, <coughs> he she has uh, cardiac diseases uh, tooth is not well I mean the teeth uh, uh, the patient usually mentally retarded and sterile. Uh, this patient most likely is uh, suffering from a disease called Down syndrome. <coughs> and the underlying cause of this disease is that uh, this patient uh, has uh, abnormal number of chromosomes. You and I supposed to have you and I supposed to have 46 chromosomes while the patient with Down syndrome has 47 and the extra one is another chromosome number 21 so we have only a pair of chromosomes two the normal people have two chromosomes number 21 while the patient with Down syndrome has three <coughs> this is why uh, medical student has to have some knowledge about the molecular uh, diseases. Uh, so the molecular genetics is field of biology. It's you study the structure and function of the genes and the chromosomes, chromosomes bearing the genes uh, and they are important studying of the chromosome and the gene, the hereditary genetic variation and uh, mutations uh, and it's useful to study the development and even the genetic disease. In fact, you may diagnose a disease with a molecular technique and you may treat diseases by molecular technique. So these are very much related to medicine among other uh, field. The story is uh, long. Uh, 1930 uh, people start to think on molecular biology and a scientist uh, named Weaver in 1938 named it and he think thought at that time that uh, it is about time 
to have a certain uh, special a special branch of biology uh, dealing with uh, molecular uh, biology that was as early as eight, 1938 <coughs> and the aspect and the branch dealing with medicine with diseases with patients with diagnosis with treatment call it molecular medicine even another branch we call it molecular pathology if you are uh, I mean uh, focused on the pathological aspect of the disease so you will have new drugs you will diagnose disease you understand the, uh, the cells okay uh, th these are re related sorry let me go back uh, the field related even to the biochemistry uh, you will find next year in your uh, second year of education and the topic of biochemistry you will have uh, some uh, study some uh, topics and like protein synthesis amino acids DNA RNA and so on <coughs> so it is related related to the uh, biochemistry the journey is long of course this is not molecular biology you will start with the biology and even before the biology when people dis discover the lens and the microscope and to magnify things then the cell theory comes and everybody believe believes that uh, organism composed of cells uh, and the cell is the basic unit and each cell uh, came from pre-existing cell um, so um, we said that actually and even the function I mean your locomotion your your digestion your uh, respiration and everything all these fundamental uh, functions uh, are uh, uh, just an accumulation or some of uh, function of individual cells so the, 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 the cell and the cell is independent uh, working by itself and of course uh, coordinate and cooperate with other cell and affected by them and it affects them as well <coughs> and inside the cell we have the DNA and RNA uh, and the, 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 the fact that of course human being not only human all the uh, living Organism started from from one cell, so it is, uh, for example, it is the oocyte, and uh, then it will divide and uh, differentiate it into various uh, forms of cells. So basically, all cells are uh, the same, the same. Sorry, and this is what we said earlier that after the discovery of the, I mean, biology uh, and the studying of the detail, starting when the microscope was invented at that time <coughs> uh, and I'm, I'm not going to ask you please draw the Mendel photograph or Mendel or when Mendel born it is just to have an idea and this is Mendel on the left hand side uh, and Mendel is uh, working he was working in the church uh, and uh, at his spare time uh, plant flowers and uh, our plant plants actually bees in the, the garden and he could discover the relation between various characters uh, of the beans different color um, and if it is high or short rough or smooth and uh, <coughs> all this uh, background knowledge used later in other field of uh, medicine and other aspects okay then the dis uh, discovery of the chromosomes and the nucleic acid that still we are in the 17th century as you see at the end of the 17th century beginning of 18th century now the amino acid uh, non the 20 20 amino acids <coughs> known which are the base uh, for your protein you are arranging them in, in certain uh, order <coughs> and making from them uh, uh, these polypeptides and the proteins okay <coughs> uh, and uh, a scientist Fisher uh, got Nobel Prize uh, because of the linking of the amino acid to protein <coughs> a 
right uh, so now well, we started with the RNA uh, okay uh, uh, genes uh, how the genes make proteins and how the DNA and RNA forms and how the cytosine linked to guanine adenine to thymine uh, and uh, uh, then we were started I mean now started a, a real a real molecular when you isolate tra uh, transfer RNA <coughs> and here is you find the uh, uh, Clerk and Watson Crick sorry Crick and Watson in Cambridge in the 50s early 50s uh, they were working in the medical research center in Cambridge University uh, and uh, they discover uh, this the helix of the, of the structure of the DNA and they got Nobel Prize for it uh, now we are starting to uh, work on this manipulation should say this cutting restriction enzyme so you have enzyme which is work as scissor to cut pieces cut the DNA into into pieces okay and you have uh, the, the gene cloning or recombinant DNA uh, technology <coughs> okay uh, so now we understand better the protein synthesis so this pre uh, messenger RNA processed by the excision of intron and exon are split uh, together uh, and uh, people at, uh, at the beginning they use it manually and it was very difficult of course and uh, take time then it become the automated sequencing and we started to human genome initiative sexually in 1986 how to have the gene mapping of the human and of course uh, uh, you will have these markers what they call it markers uh, within the gene and uh, uh, it is not only the human it is only even the bacteria and yeast uh, as we said uh, if you understand uh, one type of the cell it will uh, you will gain knowledge to understand uh, other types so here is here is a yeast here is bacteria we are sequencing then then the the, the the human one and here here it's published in the scientific journal of the science uh, okay uh, so human genome project completed in uh, 2003 uh, and mouse genome will sequenced okay <coughs> uh, so this is uh, I said it is just a general uh, background on uh, molecular genetics molecular biology <coughs> and how it is related to your uh, field of medicine and where where you can use it uh, and of course uh, you are not uh, asked to memorize all these figures and uh, all these photographs it's only just for information and uh, thank you let me save it for